Hi guys, I just got myself this set of watercolors. It's called White Nights by St. Petersburg and I thought I would do a swatch with you. So um, the, pa the palette that I've got comes with uh, 36 full pans and they pretty much come with a swatching card which I didn't use just because um, the paint does not react the same way in different types of paper so I decided to use one of mine and the pants come in individual pants now they come wrapped in this um, piece of paper that tells you the name of the pigment that or the pigments that have been used um, the light fastness and some other information such as name and so on I've also realized that when I unwrap them, if I press in, some of the paint is soft enough as to push it down. Now for the swatching, I will just activate the paint with some water and I will tell you the names of the paints as I apply them on paper. They're very easy to activate. Um, I just dip my brush and start mixing and the pigment comes up right away. So these first colors are Zinc White, Cadmium Lemon, Cadmium Yellow Medium, Yellow Ochre, Golden, Golden Deep, Hansa Yellow Titanium Red Ruby and I found this to be a gorgeous gorgeous pink Cadmium Red Light a very bright red and a little bit opaque light English red, quinacridone rose, carmine and I also found this one to be a very bright red and lovely color, color. madder lake red light, quinacridone lilac and I must tell you that when mixing when activating this color um, it actually had some pigments separated violet which is a very deep dark blue ultramarine azure cobalt blue Indian thern blue Indian thern blue Turquoise blue, indigo, cerulean blue, yellowish green, this gorgeous emerald green. Simply green, olive green, chromium oxide, oxide, raw sienna, burnt sienna. Umber, burnt umber, Mars brown, sepia, 
neutral black and paint scrape. I've also decided that I wanted to see how the pigment moves around when dealing with loads of water and I must tell you some colors um, were staying quite still while other colors as soon as they touch the paper they would just spread all around like this red and it actually creates some gorgeous gorgeous shapes I just did find that um, the colors are not consistent some of them are more pigmented some of them are less pigmented um, while you apply some they start spreading away right away uh, while others you actually have to push them around a little bit but above all they're lovely colors cons consistent color um, some of them very pigmented and I actually did enjoy some of them very much and I will probably get <laughs> maximum use of them while other colors um, are a bit disappointing but hey um, new palette I'm sure I'll give it very much use and I hope you guys like this swatching and please let me know if you're interested in more information about them so these are the swatches after they've dried as you can see most of them are translucent there are however some that are not consistent just like I told you like this uh, purple this violet um, the cerulean blue was not too pigmented um, I loved the emerald green but then it's not very consistent and well for the price you get loads of pigment you get lo loads of colors and actually they're not disappointing at all I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys will watch my other videos uh, swatching these colors and trying them out.